Um, our next, our next uh, guest speaker uh, needs no introduction. Uh, he is the state, chair, state Democratic Party chairman um, and the long, the first, the first <laughs> chairman to serve twice, the longest serving Nassau County Democratic chairman, um, a strong proponent for education, and he's overseeing the change of Nassau from red to blue. So let's give a warm welcome to our state party chairman, Jay Jacobs. Thank you so much, Tyler. I appreciate it. It was good meeting with you the other day. You and Jovan have done a great job. And uh, I wanna thank all of the young Democrats for all the work that you do. It, it is so critical and um, so impactful in terms of our elections. I want to also congratulate all of the honorees tonight. It was great hearing from Mondaire Jones just a little while ago. I'm looking forward uh, to working with him when he is in the Congress, and I'm sure that that's going to happen soon. And of course, uh, our great uh, majority leader, Andrea Stewart Cousins, who I was with this afternoon at an event out here in uh, Nassau County. Uh, uh, Andrea never fails to show up whenever she's needed, and she certainly was needed here and, and is always uh, a great asset for all of us. And she's done a phenomenal job uh, leading the state Senate. And my thanks also to Mike Janaris, um, the head of the uh, Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, who's also done a fabulous job and is gonna bring it home for us, not only keep the majority, but I believe uh, enlarge the majority in our New York State Senate. So, you know, uh, everybody uh, that I, I've listened to and I've been on the call since the beginning, has really stressed uh, the most important points. And I'm not going to repeat what others have said. We all know how important this election is. We all know what is at stake. And, and I think uh, each of you who are on this call, by virtue of the fact that you are so engaged, are so involved in the political process, I know we can count on you to do your part to bring out the vote and make sure we do have a successful November 3rd because nothing uh, should be taken for granted. Nothing's a sure thing. But what I'd like to do in the minute or two that I have left is uh, perhaps put this uh, more like uh, looking at the forest through the trees. You know, I, I was listening to some of our young Democrats and um, you know, 40 years ago, um, even 30 years ago, I imagine I'd have been a young Democrat. And uh, you, know, you are at a very unique point uh, in your lives right now, each of you. I read a book not, not so long ago uh, that you might be familiar with, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, and I, I remember the first habit, it was begin with the end in mind. And I think for each and every one of you, my message would be this. You have chosen to become Democrats for a reason. We believe in this party because I think each of us uh, believes in taking care of people, putting people first, doing what's right for our community. You've got such a tremendous opportunity as you start out now in this political process. You come to the table with a fresh, clean slate. And I just urge each of you, as you begin your journey, some of you have already done so and are, are into it, but have a long road to go. You set as your goal something that you can strive for uh, and be proud of when you achieve it. You know, so many times people enter politics because they wanna better themselves, they wanna get elected to something, and that's not a bad thing, uh, you should do that. But you know, too often it's about trying to be somebody rather than do something. I think each of you on this call, uh, and, I, and I believe this uh, firmly, will be committed to doing something, do great things for our country, make our party proud, be engaged in this process because you want to do right. And if we do that, we make sure that we're not going to play it like the other team. Um, we're not going to become them. We're going to be able to win the battles we're in and have the successes along the way with bumps, I'm sure. Doing what we believe in will be in the best interests of the people we serve. That's what the Democratic Party has always been about. And I know with you in the future, and Kyle, I look forward to you running for governor also. I hope to get the chance to vote for you. Uh, I know that we're gonna have a great future ahead of us on top of a great night on November the 3rd. Thank you for inviting me to address you tonight.